joined by Keith uh, Bonus after the game. Finished Horsham 2, Carshorton 2. Sure you wanted more than a point tonight, but you must be at, pleased at least with the second half performance, Keith. Uh, I think from the 25th minute, we started to take control of the game. We should have had a couple before our time. If there's a disappointment at all, it's the the fact that we didn't finish enough chances that we created. And again, we've created so many. And that's what we've just been talking about. We can't keep creating chances in every game and not taking them. Uh, goals win prizes. So, But we're really disappointed with the way that we conceded the first two goals uh, again. And it, it's similar to Saturday in a sense. But the second half Saturday and the second half today were both of a likeness where we felt we, we were in the game more. But today we absolutely dominated the second half in our opinion. And I don't think they'd argue with that. So, yeah, it, it's hard to do, but there's a, a saying in football called a 2 nil trap, and we use that at our time. It's, it's quite common that a 2 nil scoreline makes a team drop off at times and think they've already won the game. And We went to take advantage of that fact by making sure we came out. Uh, I hate the saying on the front foot, but it's a common one in football now as well. So, you know, we just said, just get at them, be more intensive and, and start linking linking our play better and they responded and yeah you've got to be immensely proud of that but I've just said to the players you know we, we've got to start asking different questions amongst themselves rather than us keep trying to put it right or telling them what they should be doing you know, they're, they're old enough and ugly enough to start looking for those reasons themselves to make sure they turn up and from the first minute going at that intensity and, th and there's no excuse not to because again time after time they prove when they're doing that that they're almost untouchable so for us it's just what what clicks that into gear and we can't answer it as such because we know or we believe we're saying and doing the right thing so you know it's in their heads yeah. it's in their heads so that's kind of the challenge I've just set them okay and you you know you obviously did make a change at half time to I mean clearly you know something needed to change so what were you looking for from making that change uh, more attacking threat. We knew the the youngster that we that we brought on has is, is got pace, and, and we knew we didn't have the pace both sides in the first half. Uh, and, and young Malachi is still learning the game. You know his natural position is 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 a right back, right sided defender. So we bounced him around in different positions, and he is only young. Um, so we just felt he wasn't dealing with the pressure. He had some good moments, but didn't deal with the pressure overall. So. You know, we felt we'd go back to balance, put Bobby back on his normal side. Although I thought he did well on the left side as well, because he's a natural footballer. Um, but yeah, it was just really just to steady it at the back uh, and give another attacking threat going forward, because we knew the young the young lad on the right who went on has got pace. And you feel like the uh, new players are starting to bed in a bit. I mean, obviously it's what first, second game for some of them. So, um, you know, I suppose naturally there would be a, a period of bedding in. You expect, you feel that's coming along? Of course, I mean, you know, Corey, Corey is a, a certain style of player. He's a hold-up player. Um, not blessed with massive pace himself, but he does hold the ball up. I felt he had a couple of opportunities in the first half where he's got the ball in the six-yard box and he's admitted that. He could have spun and shot, and for some reason he's laid it out to Bass. Um, so he's got to be more instinctive. But, um, you know, he's been, he's been playing in a side where he, he didn't feel that... Uh, it was working for him, so he's come to us to look for a, a different kind of style of football. He's got to fit into our style rather than us fit into his. And I think it'll probably get better and better. Um, you know, Omar's come on in the last two games, he's starting to look sharper and fitter, so there's an option there. Um, as I said, the lad we brought on, again, speed gives us another option. Obviously, with Dan Roberts couldn't start tonight because he picked up the injury Saturday. He's still going to be a, another option for us. So, yeah, and, and Ergis did better tonight. Again, I thought we started a bit shaky. His first couple of headers scared me a little bit, um, but he got he grew into it and started to think about his passing more. And yeah, he's, again, he's only 19. He looks about 25, doesn't he? But he's only 19. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I, I think unfortunately now he's going to miss Saturday though because of, because of the cards the other day. But but yeah, you know we'll go on searching. And Pete's main statement just now is it, he doesn't know how to give up. I don't know how to give up. Alberta doesn't know how to give up. So we're not going to give up. You know, we're going to keep fighting for everything we can. And, and that's kind of what happened today. We've scrapped for it and we've got something out of it. It's just disappointing that we feel, we really feel at our best. You know, we've just given away five points and we've certainly given away two points today uh, with literally two gifts, gifts of goals. 
So that, that's that's the biggest letdown for us. And uh, you know, tough game coming up now on Saturday. Wingate and Finchley. I don't know if you've seen they beat an Enfield four one tonight. So uh, clearly uh, against the form book, but uh, um, clearly they're going to pose a bit of a challenge too. It's a weird league. You know, you, you saw folks and smash somebody seven 0 before we drew with them. You know, Horsham beat Kingstonian four zero. No one would have predicted that. So there's results like that happening. I think teams just have their moments. If we had finished all our chances tonight, we could have won that 8-2. So, you know, the difference is they're burying whatever chances they're being given and Enfield seems to be having a little bit of a dip. And and uh, to quote uh, a certain other manager in this league, every team goes through that period and some go through it a little bit longer than others. Um, so, yeah, a lot of the teams in that top half are, are having their, their blips, if you want to call it that. And... Uh, and a team can take advantage of that. A lot of players have been changing around as well. You know, teams are at a stage where they're they're letting players go and they're moving into other sides and then they, they perform better. I mean, I think, you know, I, I saw the quote um, from their, their notes, Horsham's notes, that they had four ex-Kingstonian players and, and all four of those players obviously wanted to prove a point to Kingstonian, so they raised their game. But everybody seems to raise the game against us because they know the style of football we play. And... Uh, I said to you a long while ago, we've got to look at every game like a cup final. And unfortunately, you know, we've lost one, um, drawn one. And it doesn't go to penalties, unfortunately, in the league. So, yeah, we've just got to find out how to click from minute one uh, in, in the way that we, we finish today's game. So that's the focus. And it's a tough week. It's not just Saturday. We're looking at Saturday first, but tough week coming up, you know, with two cup games as well. So... It's going to be hard, but you know, hopefully we'll have uh, Kweku back, fit and firing. Um, Danny Roberts should should get over his injury. So yeah, I mean, we've got enough to, to shuffle it around, you know. And some of the youngsters in the other teams, you know, we don't talk a lot about them, but um, you know, the under 23s they lost last night. There were some good performances. Pete was there with them. The under 18s have, have won their last four games, and we've got some fabulous youngsters in that side, you know, looking to, towards the future. So you know. Maybe we're at a building phase, um, but yeah, we haven't given up getting to the playoffs yet. We we won't until it's mathematically impossible. We won't give up. So. Okay. Well, we'll uh, look forward to Saturday and hope for uh, uh, a continuation of the second half performance. Yeah? yeah. I think I'll have to crack some heads before the game to make sure it happens. All right. Cheers, Keith. Thanks.